And people say, Harpoon, why do you do Sarasota County? You thought, look, 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 look at their faces. Look at their smiles. Say, why do you recognize, promote, support, and encourage good kids? Remember I told you to look at me when we were going to do the show? Look right there in that camera. Look right there. That's why. That's why. There's your answer. That's why. Okay. First of all, welcome. Welcome. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. And you are. I'm Emily Griffin. I'm 13 years old. I'm going into eighth grade and I'm homeschooled. Homeschooled. And you are. I'm Lexi Allen. I'm 10 years old. I'm going into fifth grade and I go to Ashton Elementary. Great. Okay. Um, homeschooled. Kind of neat. Um, what grade would you be in next year if you were not homeschooled but like regular school? Is it a grade thing? Is it like eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade? Is that how you'd? Yeah. So what grade would you be in? Eighth. Eighth grade. Yeah. Great. You enjoy homeschool? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Is it? You ever call in sick? <laughs> it's kind of neat when you think about it, wouldn't it? You just call in and say, no, I'm not coming today. Who teaches you? My mother and my father. Nice to have your parents teaching you. Oh, yeah. That's kind of neat. Good. Okay. Um, you are uh, part of the Players Kids Theater Players Theater Players Performing Arts School type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk a little bit. How long have you been part of that? I've been part of the Players for about two years now. Two years now. And and how do you how does it come about? How do you get into something like that? Um. To an audition or yeah. how does that go? Um, it goes well. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you just pre prepare a um, a song in mm -hmm. a monologue. Okay, and then you perform it, and they say whether you make it or not, right? Yeah, they send you a letter. They send you a letter. Yeah. Direct to you. Yes. Addressed to you. Yes. When you op did you open up the letter? Yes. What did it say? It said, um, "Dear Emily Griffin." Um, we are honored to tell you that... Now, when you saw the word honored, were you, like, yelling already? Yeah. That's so cool, isn't it? I mean, it's so neat to be feeling so good about yourself, isn't it? Yes. Well, good. So what shows? Have you been in some shows? Yeah, quite a few. Okay. Well, can you name one show you've been in? Give My Regards to Broadway. Another show you've been in. The Music Man. Another show you've been in. Um... Give my regards to Broadway again. We'll do it twice, right? Give my regards to Broadway. Perfect. That's it. We have some video from Give My Regards to Broadway. You brought along a little monologue that you do, correct? Yes. I want you to do it. Okay. Go ahead. Perform it. If we shot 100,000 people on Broadway watching you, they all came to see Emily do this monologue. Are you nervous before you do it? No. Okay, good. If we not nervous at all, correct? <laughs> not, not, not at all, right? No. Nope. Okay, go ahead. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is amended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear, in this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentiles do not reprehend, if ye pardon we will mend, and as I am... Stop. If you were auditioning and I was running the players, I would say, you're in. I wouldn't even wait for a letter. That is excellent. Thank you. Do you sing also? Yes. Did you, did you bring anything to sing today? Yes. What, what song? Um, in My Own Little Corner from Cinderella. So I knew that. You know why? Why? Because you told me five times because I was a listener <laughs> before we met, right? Okay, look at that smile and then understand when people say, why do you recognize, promote, support, and encourage kids? Because these kids deserve to be recognized, promoted, supported, and encouraged. But I'll be quiet. In my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan. I'm a Harris so, who has... Excellent. That is excellent. I can see you're a star. <laughs> I'm going to go over here to your friend. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go right over to you. And for people who are just joining us, I'm going to ask you. They already ask you your name and everything? Yeah. Is it the same as it was when I asked you the first time? Yes. But some people may not know because they may just be joining us. So your name? Lexi Allen. Okay. And how old are you? Ten. Ten. And you go to school where? Ashton Elementary. And you're going to be in the ninth grade? Fifth. Eighth grade? Fifth. Seventh grade? Fifth. Sixth grade? Fifth. 
Yeah. See, I told you I'd get here originally, uh, uh, eventually. That was good. You like Ashton Elementary? Yeah. Well, that's great. Okay, so you've been part of the Players Kids for how long? Players Kids are, yes, um, two years. Two years. Okay. And you've been in what place there? Give my regards to Broadway, Princess and the P, Toy Camp. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do a little bit of monologue for us? Yes. Okay, you're going to read the monologue? Yes. Perfect. I want you to read it. Okay. You know why? Because I can't read that far. You're going to perform at 100,000 people. They were standing and screaming when she finished. Now they're not going to sit down because they want to hear you. How many people are there? 100,000. 100, Go ahead. Perform it. Dr. Clyde told Mama that my tonsils would have to come out and that it would be a snap. He talked all about the ice cream I could eat and what fun it would be. And Mama took me to the rec cell and bought me a Sparkle Plenty doll. When I got to the hospital, Dr. Clyde promised me my Mama and Daddy would be with me the whole time. Then they put me on this table and rolled me down the hall. I was okay until we got to these two big screen doors. And Mama and Daddy were looking scared. Oh. You know how wonderful you are? Say yes, I do. Yes, I do. Jody, back it out, both of them at the same time, please. Just, you know, just, do you know how wonderful you are? Yes. I am? I am. I can? I can. I will. I will. I am. I can. I can. I will. You know any songs? Yes. How many songs do you know? 250. 300, <laughs> maybe 500. Can I choose any song I want? Are you singing? You know, I'm, well, I, no, I can't sing. I sing solo. Oh. Solo that nobody can hear me. But you're going to sing, name it. That was pretty funny, don't you think? Go ahead. <laughs> Any song you want, go ahead. You can laugh, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. What song do you say? What's the name of it? The Girl I Mean to Be. The Girl I Mean to Be. Go ahead. I need a place where I can go, where I can whisper what I know, where I can whisper who I like, and where I go to see them. I need a place where I can hide, where no one sees my life Stop. inside. People are going to pay to see that. We're not, not to you with this kind of talent. We're not just going to, we're just going to give them a little, little idea of it. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. And we're going to show a little bit of Give My Regards to Broadway now. Okay. We're glad that we have two other young ladies coming on. Okay, was this fun? Yes. Yes. Well, that's what I think. Are you going to yes. tell Steve and Vincent you had a wonderful time? Yes. Are you going to tell Joey you had a wonderful time? Of course. Oh, that'll be wonderful. So you did a monologue and you sang, right? Yeah. You did a monologue and you sang, right? Yeah. And sometime when we have time for 300 songs, you'll come and sing all your songs, right? That'll be perfect. Go uh, look, both of you look right in there, okay? And say, Scott, give my regards to Broadway. Go, say Scott, it. Scott, give my regards to Broadway. Okay.
that's where I look. 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 Remember I told you to look right at me? Remember? Look at your camera right there. Right there, look. Put those smiles right at that camera. And people say, why, Howard? Why in 1989 did you start the Youth Foundation? Why, Howard? Why did you start it? Why did you recognize, promote, support, and encourage academic, athletic, civic, and cultural achievement? That's why. Right there, see? That's why. Now come back to me. Right? Come back to me. And when I say that's why, you go right to them. That's why. See? Let's try it again. Let's go quicker. Is anybody ready? Come back to me. That's why. That's better. Okay, okay. Hi. 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 Hello. You are. My name is Christy Skrillis. I'm 11 years old. I am going into the seventh grade, and I attend St. Martha's Catholic School. Perfect. And you are? I'm Mona Puno. I am now 11 years old. Um, I just had a recent birthday on June 30th. I'm going into the sixth grade at McIntosh Middle School. Great. I knew it was your birthday, June 30th. You know how? Because I told you out there. You could have said I, because I'm smart. Because you're smart. Smart, smart, and you also told me that. You're both part of the Players Kids? Yes, sir. Players yeah. Performing Arts School. How often, we'll start with you, how often do they meet? Every, um, go ahead. Once a week, once normally. A, mm -hmm. so. After, is it like on a Saturday or? Saturday. A Saturday, what time? Um, nine o'clock, I think. Right, and then you work, kind of work all day? Um, no, until 11. 11. Does Stephen Vincent, who's there, do they bring you lunch? No. Um, oh, how cheap are they? <laughs> What's that all about? I'm just teasing. How long have you been part of that? Um, well, of the players' kids, this is only my first year. Good. But I've been with the players for four, for four years. That's wonderful. You brought a monologue to do for us? Yes. And you're going to sing. What's the monologue from? Um, the Wizard of Oz. I know that. Go ahead. Let me see if that's the part I know. Go ahead. Perform it. Don't read it. But it wasn't a dream. I know that was the one, but it was that's the one I knew, right? Right. I, you enjoy doing that? Oh, yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so cute they are. That's the reason you do it. Look, look, that's why. Stop telling me about what's wrong with kids. Tell me what's right. Go ahead, sorry. Sometimes I just get off on these so <laughs> But it wasn't a dream. It was a place. And you and you and you, and you were there. But you couldn't have, could you? No, on him. this was a real, truly live place. And I remember it. some of it wasn't very nice, but most of it was beautiful. But just the same, all I kept saying to everybody was, I want to go home, and they sent me home. Doesn't anybody believe me? But anyway, Toto, we're home, home. And this is my room. You're a good little actress you are. Thank do you. Know, so do you say yes, I do? Yes, I do. Okay. That was awesome. Thank you. That was excellent. That's from, don't tell me, Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I knew that. You're going to sing for us, too? Yep. What song are you going to sing? Give my regards to Broadway. And who wrote that? George M. Cohen. Jo George, George M. M. Cohen. Cohen. There we go. Go ahead, mm -hmm. sing for me. Oh, wait. We have to back out. This song we'll sing together, right? Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay. Okay, wait. Well, give me a chance to back out. Okay. All right. On three. When I go. One, two, eighty, go. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. Tell all the gang at 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Whisper of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old time throng. Give my regards to old Broadway and say that I'll be there ever. Uh, incredible. Where'd you say you go to school? St. Martha's, right? St. Martha's. You go to school where? Uh, Macintosh Middle. Macintosh Middle. You do a um, monologue for us? Yes. Okay. Where's it from? Um, it's from Midsummer Night's Dream. Written and by Willie? William Shakespeare. Oh, yeah, William Shakespeare, right. Bill. I wonder if they call him Bill. Do you think they did? Not back then, I don't know. Uh, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. When's back then? In the 1950s. Where did I grow up? 
What was the name of the kid? Happy Days. Happy Days. How old am I? 60. But I don't look 60, right? No. Thank you. Go ahead. Well, it's the same one as Emily Griffin That's just did, so I'm going to start off where she stopped. That's perfect. You're so nice to do that. Thank you. But I need to know where she stopped. Okay, and you just pick up anywhere you want to go. Okay. And as I am an honest puck, if we have unearned luck, now to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call, so good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. Pretty, that, 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 that's, put it back on both of them if you would, Judy. That's like incredible. Really, so you, you've been with the players for? Four years. But the players, so let, oh, the explain players to kids. me about when you say you've been with the players for four years, but with the players kids. Well, the players kids I did last year and this year, mm -hmm. and, but I've been at the players performing arts school for about four and a half years. So you, so you audition and you kind of? Yeah. Make that right. So do you go to the, let, let me go to you. Do you go there any other times during the week besides on Saturdays when you meet? Well, um, actually I have a class oh. on Saturday also. What class do you have? Jazz. Jazz dancing? Jazz dancing. Wow, who teaches that? Steven Vincent. He's really good. Well, they see have all the pictures up in the hallway. Of yeah. The, hey, see, they, it's, all, it's all his pictures. You know what I mean? I've never seen anything like it. No. It's, you like jazz dancing? Oh, I love jazz. How'd you start dancing? Um, well, I started a long time ago, you know. Yeah, wait, excuse me. How old are you? I'm 11. Right, I started a long time ago. How, what, like, how long is a long time ago when you're 11? Mm, maybe seven years, I'd say. Seven years ago? Seven years ago. Okay, so, like, when I'm 60, I say a long time ago. It's 40 years ago. 